This video is sponsored by DistroKid. Hi, I'm Ash. Today I'm making... Gosh! Oh my God! It's gonna start with the MIDI of scary monsters and nice... Spl splatis? Get that in. A classic. <laughs> and I just saw a tweet that says, Today we make melodic mid-tempo. Bruh? Jeez, EDM Twitter. You just described 2015 Porter Robinson type beat. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna bring this down to 84, 85, something like that. What's that sound like? Oh, she's slow. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I got an idea. Do this, and then we'll do that. So now it sounds like... Okay, okay. But, but with Porter, this, this chord progression ain't gonna fly. So let's do a brand new chord progression. Oh, uh, maybe this. <laughs> oh my God. That's the one, that's the way it's gotta go. I'm gonna be long one. Yeah, okay. Something sad, but pretty. Just like all my exes. Gotta adjust this lead so it's more Porter-ish. And I'm hearing like a sad machine type beat. Wait. Wait. Mm. Chop, 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 and... That's basically it. This could definitely be cool somewhere. Heck yeah, that chord progression with the chopped up lead, that's gonna be the main idea. I'm gonna build this out. Let's get a uh, pad or something on this piano thing too. As I remember when I first heard Porter Robinson back in 2011 when he first released Spitfire EP, I thought he was just okay. And while it was well produced, it's like he was trying to emulate popular festival tunes of the time. With the exception of 100% in the bitch, that still slaps Bring Back Moombaton. Why a sixth in a dubstep song? But within all these songs, there was something lurking with songs like Vandalism and The Seconds. Then he releases language, everything changed. It was clear that he was starting to pull his true influences instead of just copying what was popular. And I'm sure that's what eventually evolved into worlds. Freaking art. Definitely think that there's something to be learned from that. It taught me to wear my influences on my sleeve despite whatever's popular. And now whenever I make music beyond all the technical stuff, I do my best to ensure that it comes from a real place. So thanks Porter. Let's just get some drums. If we're doing early 2010s EDM, everybody use the Vengeance kits. We're gonna go ahead and do that. Perfect. Hell yeah. Get a little kick action going here. Need a snare as well. Sure. It's perfect. 909 style clap. Beautiful. Oh, love it. This is pretty much it. Just gotta get some sounds that are good enough for a released song. You know we're back with the sponsor, our good friends over at DistroKid. And if you haven't heard about their amazing feature called HyperFollow, check this out. It's a completely free and awesomely powerful promotional tool for anyone who uses DistroKid. Check this out. One stop shop for all your links and streaming services. Dang, by the way, go stream my new music. And you know how it is these days, you have so many different services, you don't know where to put them all. DistroKid puts them all in one place for you. The instant you finish uploading on DistroKid, you can start marketing your release and collecting pre-saves. Like, that's, uh, that's freaking crazy. You can go to Spotify, pre-save it, even customize it. Whoa. Customize it like this, hit edit, and include all of your socials. Include all of them. And as soon as it goes live, so even if you have a release date, uh, down the road by the time the song goes live it updates automatically so it changes from pre-saved link to live link You don't have to update anything plus the link that you have never changes You never have to update your marketing or social media and you can find it just on your album page So if you've uploaded a song just right over here under hyperfollow and thank you so much to DistroKid for sponsoring this video Y'all are awesome. Okay. Okay. We're about to add what I call the Porter Robinson Holy Trinity 
starts with a supercell. Serum in there. This preset, by the way, is available for free on Discord or check out this video. I show you exactly what you do to make it. It's the Porter Robinson Holy Trinity. So I need a base. So for base, I'm going to use serum as well. It's going to sound something like this. For the lead, if I wanted to truly be Porter Robinson, I would use some sound fonts, but uh, I'm going to be super lazy and just use... Hey, this one's perfect because I can do this version and I can do that version. So I'm going to make two leads. And those are pretty much going to be the sounds we pick. So I can take this. This is going to be our lead. And then bottom notes of here and make it the bass. These are a little high. Ring them down. Oh my gosh. This is sounding fresh. Side chain. And I'm gonna put arpeggiator on the bass too so we can give it that. Oh baby, we got it. Okay, so do the pre-drop, we could do- Yes! Oh my gosh! But if I was really Porter, get some weeb stuff going. So I gotta do some research. Have y'all seen how good Attack on Titan's getting? A few of these things. Perfect. Add an amp, add a little plate. As for the vocal part, he does use Vocaloid, but my friend showed me a free plugin. This one's called Alter Ego. Kind of a busted version. It works for this, and you can just type in text. It's pretty freaking cool. You can just toss in some Japanese words to uh, keep the culture, and it comes with a bunch of presets too. Pretty cool. I made the vocal chop into this. Added a bit of hat. Fills, like, gotta have these boys in. Do it with the vocal chops as well. And of course, I'm gonna sneak in a few samples from the original track as well. This guy, of course, we gotta use this. Arrange it out even more, all the way to a build up. Here it is.